in the figure shown, a circular opening 1.2 meter, meters in diameter is closed by a hemispherical shell weighing 12.5 kilonewtons. Neglecting friction, what force is required to lift the shell vertically? Then, with what force is the shell held against the seat? Then, if the if coefficient of friction is 0.3, what vertical force is required to initiate, initiate lifting of the shell? So, this is the figure. So, let's apply the weight and the buoyant force. Weight is 12.5 and we have buoyant force. Specific weight of water times volume of hemisphere, which is two-thirds pi r cube this time where the radius is 0.6. So summation forces y equals 0, P sub L, the required force, plus Bf equals 12.5. So P sub L plus 9.81 times quantity 2 thirds pi 0.6 cube equals 12.5. So PL can now be computed. That's the vertical force to lift the shell then of the opening then next with what force is the shell held against the seat so by principle the contact points between this curved surface and the waters and the liquid is circular so there's so many contact points and we do horizontal lines to obtain the projected surface area which is a circle the distance of the centroid of the circle to the water surface is barred h which is 1.2 plus 1.2 over 2 that's barred h then area is area of the circle so f equals specific weight of water barred h area so 9.81 bar h 1.2 plus 1.2 over 2 area pi 0.6 square area of the circle so it will be pushed towards this opening and the seat of the opening so f is 19.97 kilonewtons then if coefficient of friction is 0.3 what vertical force is required to initiate lifting of the shell so let's apply friction here which is downward because the normal force is F also. So, therefore, frictional resistance is coefficient of friction times normal, which is also F. So, summation forces Y equals 0. P sub L plus buoyant force equals 12.5 plus 0.3 of F. So, substitute P sub L plus 9.81 quantity 2 thirds pi 0.6 cube over 3 equals 12.5 plus 0.3 of F. The shorter way is, it is 8.062, then you just add 0.3 of 19.97. The result is the same, 14.05 kilonewtons.